You see, we have to understand first who Jesus is before we can actually understand what we have in Him. You see, some people treat Jesus like, oh, I don't know, Prozac maybe, Valium. He's the pill that calms their nerves. Think about it. People get shook up. I need a Valium. I need something to calm me down. I need something to take the edge off. You know, that's the way some people treat Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't know what to do. I, I, I've got this problem. Something's coming up, and I don't know. Well, maybe I'll talk to Jesus. Jesus, can you help me with this? But that's about the extent of their view of Christ. He's the person they call on in desperation. Can I, can I tell you, Jesus is so much more than that. And that in Him, you have so much more available to you than that. You see, it says you are complete in Him. Let me point out something to you very interesting. That term that's used in verse 9, fullness, that's a Greek noun. And the term that's used in verse 10, complete, same word, but in its verb form. So the, all the fullness of God dwells in Jesus. And in Him, I'm getting the fullness of God. I'm complete in Him. You see, it's through Christ that I have access to the power of God. It is through Christ that I have access to God Himself. And when Christ is in the proper place in my life, then I have a greater understanding of the power that's available to me. He's not simply the instrument that I use to calm my nerves when I'm upset, but He is the sovereign ruler of my life who I look to in every situation knowing that there is a power that is accessible to me that goes far beyond what I can do in my own human strength. Now, let me wrap this up and bring it home for you and make it real practical. You say, that's great theology. Sounds good. Philosophically, it even sounds good, but what does that mean in my day-to-day -day life? Well, it means this. You don't have to keep struggling with the same sins. Anybody ever have a problem with that? <coughs> Struggling with the same sins? A couple honest people? Yeah. I mean, there's some of them that we feel like that no matter how hard we try to reform ourselves, we suck back in. Those of you in this room who have ever had an addiction, you full well know what I'm talking about. Can I tell you something? You have access to power that will set you free from that. Because you're complete in Him.